Welcome to EMTPrep.com. This is the Spinal Immobilization Seated Patient Skill. Welcome to the Seated Spinal Immobilization Practical Assessment. Here we will evaluate your ability to properly secure a sitting patient to a KED. Your patient is sitting in a vehicle that has been involved in a motor vehicle accident. Your scene has been cleared and you arrive with your EMT assistant partner. Verbalize moving the patient to the long backboard. You are in charge of ensuring proper directions that are given to your partner. You may utilize any of the equipment shown before you and I'd like you to review that now. All right, BSI, is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. All right, so the first thing I'll do is have my partner place the head in an inline neutral position and then I will direct my partner to maintain C-spine immobilization. Uh, once he's doing that, I'm going to quickly assess CMS. So I have pulses bilaterally. Can you move your fingers for me? Okay, and can you feel me touching you here? All right, then I'll do the feet. I will take the shoes off, and then I will find peel pulses. I have pulses. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay, and can you, can you feel me touching you? You have pulses, sensation, and motor function in all extremities. Okay, uh, now that CMS is complete, I'm gonna size my patient for a cuff or for a, excuse me, for a C collar. Select the appropriate size, reform my collar, and apply my C collar. Open your mouth for me a little bit. Perfect. All right. Now that I have the C collar on, uh, we're going to position the KED device behind the patient. So I'm going to take over C spine. All right. I have C spine. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to have you sit forward just a little bit, and my partner is going to put the the KED behind you. So on three. One, two, three. Perfect. So if you can position that behind her and get those chest or those uh, chest flaps up underneath her armpit as much as possible. That would be awesome. All right. Okay, so we have that now. So on three, we're gonna sit you back into the chair. One, two, three. Okay. So now I'm gonna turn C-spine back over to you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I will make sure that the Device is positioned how I want it. And starting on the torso, I'm going to secure the device to the patient. Making sure not to move the spine too much as I do this. All right, so now I've got them all connected. I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna tighten them up a little bit more. Can you take a deep breath for me? Okay. Now that I have the chest, chest straps done, I'm going to place the ischial straps. All right, so I'm gonna have to place these straps between your leg and then I'm gonna kinda have to Move them up. All right.
And once I have both of the ischial straps in place, I'm going to secure the head. So first, we'll go underneath. And I would pad behind the head as appropriate with her. There is no padding necessary. Okay, so the head's secured. Uh, now we would transition the patient onto a long backboard and secure her to that. And once we had her secured to the long backboard, I would again reassess CMS, feeling for pulses on both the feet and the arms. Uh, can you, uh, checking sensation, and then having her move both of them for me. And circulation, sensation, and motor function are all present in okay. all extremities. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Nope, that is it. All right, thank you.